Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about EA continually crashing this market. It's two days in a row now, Sunday and Monday, they've put out SBCs and content that people have engaged with that have sucked coins off the market and people have sold their items to go and do these SBCs. We have a mid or prime player pick that caused a big time market crash yesterday. And I want to take a look at that SBC and just explain kind of what is happening. Also, just kind of look at the traje trajectory of this time of the year. It's early March, right? Usually during this time frame, we have some sort of downturn in the market after the big rise post team of the year. So this is kind of the normal market fluctuation. So it was a matter of time before this was going to happen. But now it's here, right? And we have this what if promo with live cards that are moving around like crazy too because people are buying them. The upgrades are possibly coming. We have upgrades tomorrow with Mbabu. But I want to take a look at all the panic selling that has happened. Kind of let you know, is it going to go lower? And also, what stuff? what's going to happen even today on Tuesday? What's going to happen throughout the rest of this week through this promo with what is going on in this game? But first, let's just talk a second about this SBC. The mid or prime. I got to finish Elshaw. Three hours remaining. I got to finish that because I'm already mostly done with it. But... This SBC right here, the mid prime player pick, this is insane. All right. And I want to talk about just for a second. I want to talk about this. This SBC is coming in at 1.2 million coins to complete. Fodder is higher than it has ever been. Now, this is a million coins yesterday. People obviously got to sell some cards to raise 1.2 mil. And I've seen the picks that people are getting from these. You're not usually getting a card over even 500k from some of these player picks that people are opening. Now, this was if this was 1.2 mil for a prime or prime icon moments player pick, then I would say okay, maybe you go for it. But not even all the primes or moments are in packs, so I don't think EA would do that. But anyways, uh, this is this is crazy. We talk about the thresholds, right? We talk about thresholds for SBCs or EA have said in the past that the uh, icon moments thresholds were you know at a certain moment or a certain point they couldn't release icon moments in, in fifa what was that 19 or 20 um for the icon moments sbcs for like hullet viera and stuff like that so they had that threshold right but then they released a 1.2 million coin upgrade pack so i mean there should be no holds barred for icon SBCs, sbcs at this point and it just goes to show i'm not going to use the word stupid but it's the word i feel like using or how addicted to packs people are on this game. No matter what the cost is, you know, we, we thought that 86s were crazy at like 31, 32,000 coins. Well, here they are at 40K. Some of them were probably even higher yesterday in the height of the SBC coming out. This is the one that I think is nuts. Oblock is 132,000 coins. Incredible. Van Dyke is almost fodder. Mane is fodder. It's crazy how high this, this stuff is right now. Like all of these, even these some of these informs, right? Kane at 120, Cruz at 124. Some of these high rated informs or Lunin at 56K. This guy was like 30K last week. And now with the how expensive SBC fodder is, he has now become a 56K card just purely because of being SBC fodder, which is nuts, right? We talked about Estupinan Sunday night was like 32K, one of the cheapest 86s. Now he's 40. So right now on this game, the main focus is SBC fodder. And again, we knew it was going to get to a point like this where SBCs were going to kind of take over. I knew there was going to be some sort of icon upgrade this week. And of course, we, we have people submitting a lot of coins into this 81 plus player pick right now. So that is why you're seeing a lot of these prices just absolutely pummel and plummet or get pummeled because it's just everything right now is on those um, packs and on those SBCs. Now, today on Tuesday, I'm really curious to know if uh, EA dropped more content. I don't see them dropping another big SBC today, right? I just don't see it happening. But... We have crazy movements on guys like this Neymar, guys like Mbappe. I mean, this Neymar card is down basically like 100K almost, right? Or not, I think not quite 100K, but almost. And the real one I'm thinking of is Mbappe. Uh, it's just like all these people that have, you know, Mbappe was like, what, 950 or something like that last week? And now he's closer to 800,000 coins. All these people are selling their Mbappes, their Neymars, their special cards to go and try out this SBC for 1.2 million coins, which is crazy. Just how much 
uh, demand there is for SBCs like that. And that's crazy, right? And this is something, you know, I don't trade with fodder a ton, but you best believe I'm about to start trading with fodder and start fluctuation trading that stuff because that is something that we can now do with all of this this SBC that is out right now. Of course, fodder is very expensive, but uh, that, that pack is out there for a while and people are going to try to do that over the next 10 days before it expires. So trading with SBC fodder is something that I myself need to do a lot more of because the, just the focus on FIFA in the second half of this year, and even in the first half, right? There's just so much fluctuation with SBC fodder. It's actually nuts. If you take a look at the index 86 on Footbin, you could have bought fodder uh, during the beginning of the year in October and literally just held on to it for the entire year. And you'd be making, cr look at this. The index 86 goes from 91 points, around 90 to 100 points in the beginning of the game. And right now we're at five, that's a five times your investment that crazy long of a time. Now, of course, we don't hold cards for that long, but look at just the fodder market this year. We've just gone continuously up and up and up as EA released more SBCs and more content. Now, I do think that we will have fodder dropping back off at some point. EA's got to do something to regulate this market, right? We talked about informs are expensive, and now we've seen fodder hit this crazy, crazy high level. You know, it's probably going to stay high for the next couple of days. Uh, and be fluctuating up there as people try to complete this SBC. And if more uh, player SBCs come out, people will be doing those too. But at this rate, if Player of the Month Messi comes out this week, it better be like some sort of 87, 88, maybe an 89 rated squad. And that's it because that's going to be like 2 million coins just be, just with how expensive high rated fodder is. Uh, all SBCs that are going to come out right now are going to be very, very expensive. So um We'll have to see how EA handles this over the next few days if they do some sort of like two for one packs or if they just let fodder stay this high because they know they can drain so many coins out of people's clubs. But of course, we look at these new what if cards because they've been fluctuating around like crazy. People that have invested in these have panic sold them, but there is stuff that's starting to bounce back, right? This Le Melu, I've got a bunch of him on transfer list right now. I bought him on Sunday, right? I bought this guy on Sunday when he dipped. He went to 135. He went down to 117. I bought like almost 10 of them right here. He bounced back to almost 130. Then yesterday, of course, we had another madness. He went back down to 117. And today, this morning, he's actually back up to 130. Now, I think this is one of the most popular cards that's getting invested in before his game tomorrow on Wednesday. I'm going to sell this probably, if not pregame, during the game if they score a goal or two because... This guy is very, 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 very invested in. I will make that point. There's a lot of investing on this card. They're on two goals, so of course, he's getting closer to his upgrade. I bought a Sancho on Sunday night for 1.4. Could have sold it at 1.5. Now he's back down to 1.35. But going forward from today, what's kind of going to happen? Of course, you have these what-if cards. There are some games tomorrow. So like Smalling plays tomorrow. Marcelo, Le Melu, Pereira. I think those are the only cards that actually play on Wednesday. Uh, Conte plays on Thursday. I would keep an eye on these cards because if there is no content, especially today on Tuesday, if there's no content, you'll probably start to see them shift back upwards and people will start to buy back stuff and invest in that stuff again. Now, the current team of the week as well, I mean, this stuff is crazy low. Bernardo Silva, 161. Ronaldo is like 5 mil. Um, if you're seeing out-of-packs cards that are still low if there is no content today, and w since we shouldn't see too much content throughout the rest of this week, there will be investments you can make for stuff to rebound that is absolutely meta that people will want to buy and put into their teams. Now, I will say one thing. When you're looking for cards that you want to buy that'll rise up later this week, make sure you look at the popular links and what is meta right now in FIFA, right? I like this Bastoni. How low did Bastoni go? We were talking about him on the weekly sell-off because Syria is still pretty hyped. Sunday, he went down to like 217 to, to 230. Uh, yesterday he went down to like 224. So this guy's relatively unimpacted, to be honest. But if, if for some reason you would see this guy down to like, you know, 210 or something like that, this guy's holding his price pretty well. That to me signals that there is a lot of demand for that card. And these cards are decently rare for the future stars. So keep an eye on him. Of course, Tap Soba is up because of Wendell. And that's a card I want to talk about because this Leverkusen Wendell 
if this guy gets a plus two, four star skills, three star weak foot, high medium work rates, uh, this isn't that bad of a card at all. This is really, with a plus two at 200K, this is craftable if you're doing player picks. If you need that left back from Brazil, if you need those links, this is a nice card for squad builders with link solution and stuff like that. And honestly, it's not that bad of a price. It's probably only gonna drop down. Uh, he is out for only three more days. So if you have interest in this Wendell, I don't think that's too bad of a card. Of course, people are gonna be like, yeah, just go use gold for Len Mendy. Um, but this could be getting a plus two upgrade and it would look really saucy after that. So I don't, if you want to do that SBC, I don't mind it, right? I do not mind it. But for the rest of the market, it all depends on what the content is that comes out today. You're already starting to see some things bounce back a little bit. Now, I don't think we're done seeing people just submit their coins into SBCs because you're still seeing uh, people do those upgrade player picks. People are still grinding and trying to craft that the prime or the mid or prime SBC. Uh, but you have seen some stuff sort of bounce back a little bit. And I'm trying to find a couple cards uh, that are really, really low. Like this Kyle Walker center back card. Like there's literally panic selling everywhere. Akanji 595. This one might come back to a prominence a little bit. He was getting invested in because of Mbabu, whose upgrade will happen tomorrow. Uh, yeah, he was down to 580 yesterday. And before that, he was up at like 620. So the fact that this guy was like 580 still almost this morning and then it was 620 yesterday, you will see some of the stuff start to rebound up, but you gotta focus on the most meta cards that are out there or the cards that are hyped right now. And the cards that are hyped right now are the what ifs. That's why my transfer list is full of them. Now I bought them on Sunday and yeah, I am losing some coins. I bought a Sancho at 1.4. I could have sold him last night at about 145 and now he's still 1.3 because he was 1.3 yesterday, but Dortmund are on three goals. And a lot of this price being down so low is because of panic selling. So I'm probably going to hold a lot of the what ifs that I have on my transfer list right now that I bought on Sunday. I'm losing coins on them all, basically, except for Le Melu, because I bought these at about 120K. He's risen up to 130. I bought a Jovic at 180 and 178. He's now like 160. Um, and then I think that's most of them. I did buy a couple Gareth Bales at 169, 170 for the upgrade tomorrow because he was 180 before the panic. And then I got this Sancho at 1.4. But I honestly might take the loss on this Sancho if I can get out later today uh, because that will just give me some coins to trade with. And if the market does start bouncing back or if there are more fluctuations with SBC fodder, then I will get myself involved in some of that and have, I, you know, I'll take a loss here. I'll take this loss, which is going to be what, like a... Uh, right around 100K, I believe, if I sell at like 1.3 mids. Um, I'll take 100K loss so that I can be able to start chipping away and making that back. And then of course, as we head into the, to Wednesday, you'll start to see some of these what if cards continue to rise back up. So I just wanted to come on the video today and talk about uh, what is going on with this game. I think I don't think EA will continually crash the market again today. If they put out like icon player SBCs, that is what everybody is like waiting and wanting for right now. Like the icon tab is, is gone. Like it's literally not even here. We have no icon SBCs to do. Um, I think people are really, really wanting to see those. And that's something that EA has not delivered in just yet. So that is something we maybe see today or maybe see this week. But it seems like EA is front loading the content inside of this what if promo at the very beginning. Now kind of remember during Future Stars, the second week of Future Stars was pretty quiet and pretty, it was kind of dead, right? If you remember that, actually, it was, it was kind of slow and kind of dead. But the first week of Future Stars was a lot more hype with the player picks and the SBC content they put out. So it's kind of like that first week, uh, they are putting out more content in a two-week promo. And then, like, maybe next week we'll get the party bags and stuff like that. But at least as it looks right now, EA is crashing the market. And of course, this is March, right? Last year, we had a huge crash kind of during winter refresh, and then it dropped even further down during um, foot birthday. And we're just kind of in that part of the year where a lot of the gold cards especially just keep getting hammered with supply and they keep starting to trickle off or promo cards start to lose their value. There's more and more new promo cards that come out. People jump to those. So you see old informs and old special cards drop off a little bit. Um, but I think the craziest thing this year, and we can, I mean, last year we saw crazy SBC fodder prices and we were like, there's no way, there's no way that it goes too much higher than this. And of course this year with the amount of demand on SBCs, SBC fodder just continues to go higher. So we'll see what comes out today. We'll be live streaming it all down on the link below twitch.tv backslash the foot account. You can catch us there live for the content today on Tuesday. 
Thanks for hanging in there with this video. It was a little bit late, of course, as Monday's the day off. I missed a crazy Monday, <laughs> that's for sure. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.